Hi, I'm Caitlin, and welcome to the OpenScope MZ Workshop training video. This video is designed to be your guide to giving the OpenScope MZ Workshop, and by the end, we hope that you feel confident in being able to reuse in part or in full this workshop material. This workshop is designed to give an introduction to instrumentation to anyone who has never used or even heard of an oscilloscope. The OpenScope MZ was designed to be a user's first time exposure to instrumentation. It is a device that gives the user access to an oscilloscope, power supply, waveform generator, and digital inputs and outputs that can be controlled by their computer over USB or Wi-Fi. By giving this workshop, you'll introduce attendees to instrumentation and walk them through the use of each of the tools in practical examples. First, let's go over the hardware required. Workshop attendees will be required to bring their own internet-connected laptops and have access either by purchasing their own or the Makerspace supplying them an OpenScope MZ and micro USB cable. For Makerspaces, we have created the OpenScope MZ Makerspace Bundle. This is a great option for instrumenting the electronic section of the Makerspace simply and cost-effectively. The Makerspace Bundle contains 10 OpenScope MZ kits complete with an OpenScope MZ, micro USB cable, and project box and sticker sheet, and the option to add two analog parts kits. The workshop uses many of the components inside the parts kit, and these part kits can be used to help stock your Makerspace electronic section. However, if you are able to source your own components, this parts kit may not be necessary. Each bundled kit can be kept in the Makerspace or checked out to Makerspace members, protected by the durable project box. For even more protection, your Makerspace members can create their own OpenScope case. Files for a 3D printed case and laser cut acrylic case can be found on our wiki. This workshop assumes that attendees will have access to an Arduino and Servo. However, if this is not the case, the workshop can be run without the Servo Sweep example. If attendees have access to just an Arduino, but not a Servo, the Servo Sweep example can be ran without the Servo. Now, let's go over the workshop. The workshop slides can be downloaded from the OpenScope MZ Resource Center. The workshop consists of over 70 slides complete with presenter's notes. These presenter's notes can be read exactly as they are to give the workshop, or the slides can be adapted and changed to fit your specific needs. The first few slides open up the workshop with an agenda and some expectation setting. Then, the workshop covers a lot of material, an introduction to the OpenScope MZ itself, setting up the OpenScope, taking a first measurement, using the OpenScope with an Arduino, using the OpenScope with RC circuits, and some additional resources for using OpenScope and more information. The workshop was designed to get the user familiar with each of the tools on the OpenScope by using the tool in a troubleshooting context. It is our hope that by the end of this workshop, they can successfully use the oscilloscope and waveform generator tools in their own projects. We feel that going through all of the exercises is ideal. However, there is some opportunity to shorten the workshop if that is desired. The workshop has a natural break after setting up the open scope. The next step in the workshop is to take a measurement, which is the equivalent of a hello world and the workshop attendees first success using the open scope. The workshop could be stopped at this point if a shorter workshop is desired. If you choose to proceed, then the next few slides cover what the OpenScope MZ is and what makes it work. Here you'll be able to let your attendees know what tools the OpenScope provides, what tools it will provide in the future, how the browser-based user interface works, the features and specifications, and what technology enables it all. This is also where your attendees will get a first introduction of what an oscilloscope is. These slides assume that the attendees have a pre-existing knowledge of what a DMM, or digital multimeter, is. A digital multimeter takes a single measurement, and an oscilloscope takes many measurements and plots them over time. If you have attendees that need a more basic introduction to what instrumentation is and what all the different tools are, you can find that information in another resource on the wiki, the OpenScope Workbook. This resource contains a table describing common instrumentation tools and an in-depth introduction to instrumentation. At this point in the workshop, attendees should understand what the workshop will cover and that the OpenScope MZ is a multifunction instrumentation device that is connected to a computer via USB or Wi-Fi and has a browser-based interface. The next few slides go through the materials list, what you'll have in your OpenScope kit, and what components are required out of your parts kit. 
In short, you'll have the OpenScope MZ, a micro USB cable, fly wires, and a whole lot of parts. Next, the workshop moves into a more detailed look at what the OpenScope MZ is. First, a walk around the board at all of the hardware. Then, a look at the PIC32MZ processor. That is the brain behind the tools, and more resources if attendees are interested in a closer look. After all that introduction, we move to setting up the OpenScope. First, attendees will need to go through the process of installing the Digilent Agent. The Digilent Agent is what connects the browser-based interface Waveforms Live to the OpenScope hardware. It also makes it easy to update the firmware on the OpenScope, configure the Wi-Fi, and calibrate the instruments. Once it's installed and open, it will run in the background. Next, they'll need to connect the OpenScope MZ to their computer via USB and go to waveformslive.com. Waveforms Live is the user interface for the OpenScope. It runs in a browser and also has available Android and iOS applications. It is designed to mimic the look of a traditional oscilloscope, but is optimized for browser and mobile use. In the workshop, users will go through using the browser-based interface over USB. Information on setting up the Wi-Fi and mobile applications are available on the Digilent Wiki. Once the OpenScope is connected to Waveforms Live, attendees will be prompted to calibrate the device. This is a pretty intuitive process, but we've included some slides on the topic just in case. Next, as promised, attendees will have their first success. They will connect the waveform generator to the oscilloscope and take their first measurement. At this point, they will have a signal in the window and will have just experienced the feeling of accomplishing something new. This is a good time to have attendees play with the various settings in Waveforms Live to familiarize them with a the look, feel, and functionality. We have several videos that the workshop facilitator could watch in preparation of the workshop to be able to point out interesting features such as tutorial mode, the pinout diagrams, and the customization options. You can find those videos on the OpenScope MZ Resource Center. Next, the workshop will take attendees through viewing and measuring a servo signal. This is the scenario that this section of the workshop is designed to mimic. You have your Arduino code running. Your robot is all set up. Maybe it even worked before, but for some inexplicable reason, your motor isn't functioning correctly. An oscilloscope is a great diagnostic tool for this situation. There could be a number of things wrong. Maybe the connections aren't strong enough. Maybe the servo is broken. Maybe the signals aren't being sent correctly. Or maybe a pin is fried. Connect your oscilloscope up to the signals at various points in your project, and you can pinpoint the exact problem. This might seem like overkill at first for such a simple project, but assure your attendees that as their projects get more complex, being able to see the signals within their projects will become more and more important. Other than demonstrating the super handy diagnostic use of an oscilloscope, this is just also super cool. Attendees will get to actually see the signals that their Arduino is outputting. They'll get to see the changing duty cycle in real time as the servo changes. What a great way to demonstrate concepts like PWM. Through this servo demo, attendees will also get a lesson on the topic of triggering. Why is it important? And what does a trigger do? Explaining triggers is certainly helpful, but seeing them in action, and not in action, is the most concrete way to demonstrate their importance. It is also a great time to take a break and let your attendees explore. The world of Arduino provides tons of examples of sketches with many different signals to scope out. Here you'll find an important note on using both an Arduino IDE target and the OpenScope. The open scope can be used as an Arduino target, so sometimes the Arduino IDE has trouble knowing exactly which device you want to connect to. If you get an error, follow the troubleshooting steps in the workshop and you'll be on your way. The last example in the workshop goes through a very basic analog circuit, an RC circuit. Setting up and viewing the response of an RC circuit will familiarize your users with setting up a circuit on a breadboard supplying a circuit with input from the waveform generator, adjusting the settings to view the signal, and of course, some basic analog circuit theory. Some of your attendees may also have an aha moment here as they finally get to see the charging and discharging of a capacitor. This is of course a very basic example of analog circuits. If you'd like to add some more or provide a resource for your attendees, we have a completely free to use analog circuits course called Real Analog on our wiki. The last few slides go through some additional resources. 
Fun fact, we've made the OpenScope MZ as open source as possible. We wanted users to be able to look into the hardware, software, and firmware of the OpenScope to learn as much as possible. This also provides the opportunity for modification of the interface for motivated users. The last slide points to where you can post questions about the OpenScope. The Digilent Forum is located at forum.digilentinc.com and is home to a passionate and knowledgeable community that love to answer questions. You may have also noticed that throughout the workshop we place some handy tips as we feel it relates to the specific activity. You'll find troubleshooting tips on getting your OpenScope connected and the tools up and running, and notes on important topics like grounding. These can be removed as desired, or even more can be added as need be. As a reminder, the OpenScope MZ workshop slides can be downloaded on the Digilent Wiki. You'll find the link below in the description of this video. We are excited about getting the OpenScope MZ into more makers' hands, and if you run into any trouble, have suggestions, or need additional help, talk with us on our forum at forum.digilentinc.com. Happy scoping!